Well, good morning. Welcome back to Colony and the old Polish farm. It's the end of September. Uh, we were up well after dark last night, or out working well after dark last night uh, with that uh, chopping the corn. And messing with that silage pit. Um, everyone who said the silage pit's too small, etc. They're absolutely right. <laughs> 100%. Bless these doors. It is a little too small and it doesn't fit. Everything that we could get off that cornfield, uh, we gave up. Put everything away, uh, and we're just gonna harvest the rest of the corn. I stuck that new, <laughs> new to us T30 in here for now. Uh, we'll see if we'll get to use it much. It was an impulse buy, which probably is not gonna turn out real good for us. Uh, I'll take a look at used equipment this morning too, and there's some things in there I'm sure that wouldn't do us any good. But man, I would sure would like to get them. Uh, cows, I think, cows should be fine. Let's take a look at the uh, animal menu here. So here we are. Um, I've got to do something about slurry. I've got so much of it. I don't know what I can do with it, really. I'll have to look, see if I can sell it somewhere. <sighs> don't know. Feed, straw, we're okay. Could use some straw. So here's the pit over here. We got it covered and fermenting. There is about 50,000 liters uh, in there. It probably could have took more, but it just starts getting problematic uh, to deal with. Uh, it wants to leak out and it's hard to get off once you compact it and everything. So we got what we got and that's probably about as good as it gets. I got this parked here. I don't like this trailer, but it is what we bought. I've thought about the one that we tried and then turn off the uh, weight limits setting that I use uh, and maybe deal with it that way. I'm not sure. Um, no vegetables. So yeah, we still got Ah, a bit of corn left in the field over here. So the idea is we'll talk to Conrad today and try and set up borrowing his um, harvester once we get into October and we will harvest the remaining corn in the field, which is a decent amount. The idea is this field will be in corn next year to do silage, corn silage off of. So this field, if we get it turned around quickly enough, September now, in October, all we could do would be winter wheat. That's probably what we'll do. So... At the beginning of next month, we're going to need to harvest it, mulch it, plow it, and drill it with wheat all in October. This field here, we had soybeans in here, right? Yeah, we had canola in this one. We've already got the wheat drilled over here. This needs to be weeded. This, I had thought about 
um, reclaiming the lower portion of this field and trying to put it like a chicken pasture or a chicken pan, chicken shack, up, <laughs> chicken coop. There we go, coop. And also maybe like a access to this field and also give me more room right here to deal with the pallets without going into the crop. But access to this field without having to go all the way around, which really doesn't matter, but if I'm gonna take this away to try and get um, at the pallets, I might as well have a little track that'll lead over to the uh, lead over to the field. At least that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if it'll be dirt or if we'll do. Uh, I don't know if I can do this texture if I have that option. It'd be good if I did. I think I might. Did I put it here? I did. So I think I have access to that texture, so maybe I'll try and do that. Just like a little uh, a little track maybe leading in through here. <clears throat> Not across. So what do we need to do today? Actually, let's take a look. How are we doing on water and stuff in here? Slow. I don't know how big the pallets are. Could use water. But it's okay. So we'll need this to do the weeding. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this. We gotta get this field prepped and ready. I don't know what state it's in right now. I think I tried to mulch it. No, I didn't. I just tried to mulch over here, I think, and it didn't really do anything, so I'm pretty convinced. Uh, it was... It was soybeans. Can you remember? Did I mulch this? I thought I just did like a little test area right here. I don't know. That's not going to give me much relief even if I fill that up. That's way too much slurry. And get it spread, I suppose. I won't even need to fertilize at all anymore. If I spread slurry and or manure, one of the two, on a field, and then I use our weeder on it, if the field hasn't been plowed, um, this gives it a fertilizing state. What did that require for horsepower? I don't remember. It's a weeding. I don't know if I need to mulch this. All right, let's let's hop in the house real quick. We'll check out the used equipment sale, and then we'll check contracts. It could do some bailing, I think. Maybe some harvesting. Not doing any root crops. Don't want to get involved in that. Don't really want to do the bailing, but I could probably use money. I don't need to turn that on. <laughs> we need to open the door. All right. So let's, let's, let's see what we got in used equipment. Oh, it's so tempting. So when I was looking at this truck before, and thinking about it, I was like, what kind of backs does it have? It's got this silage body. So I took a look at it, that. It actually will tip out the back, which would be awesome. But between the two, that's $40,000. So 
that's more than we have. It would be cool. I have no iterations of that truck in the game right now. But there's a plow. I could use that. But we have our spader, which I haven't even used yet, which would fulfill the same job. Speaking of jobs, what do we got for contracts? So there's a lot of bailing I could do. There's one fertilizing. I, I should do that. Oh, I could get rid of slurry. Oh, yeah, we're definitely doing that. Okay. I don't even know where field 90 is, but that'll help us get rid of the slurry. And then this plowing, so potentially we could find, I don't know if it'll let us use a spader or not, but it might. So 82 for plowing and what was it? 90 for fertilizing. Let's check the map. Okay, so 90's right there. That was fertilizing, right? And 82 for plowing is that one up. There's a field up there. Have I ever done that field before? Okay, we're doing those. Except and which one the plowing except <clears throat> all right this is distracting from what we're <laughs> i don't know but we still got to deal with that so <clears throat> first things first i'm gonna grab the spader and we're gonna go see if it'll work if it won't work, maybe we'll buy that plow. I don't know why it wouldn't, but it might say, this is a plowing contract, you don't have a plow. Somehow I have in my mind that that's what'll happen. I don't know why. Sometimes I like I don't know, I get these ideas and I don't know where they came from. I don't know if I dream farming simulator or, or what. I have all these notions that sometimes end up not being true. So I don't know. see how this hooks up all right yeah that looks good what is that oh <clears throat> it's like the top of the three point is that gonna get in the way that's no, okay off to the side out of the way okay <clears throat> oh my god look at the maintenance <clears throat> all right that looks like something we need to address <laughs> right away let me leave this here a second let's go and take care of that I don't know if I've ever done the, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if I've ever done the maintenance on this tractor since I bought it, used, I don't think I did. So I imagine this won't be cheap. 1262. Okay. So as we drive over there, 
Let's have a little chat, shall we? I want to talk about YouTube subscriptions. So last week, Mr. Sealy P went over 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. Don't know why it took him so long. Uh, doesn't really mean anything other than he's got a bit of reach and people enjoy uh, what he's doing. I think he'd get a plaque, which is kind of cool. Uh, but really the, the threshold is like a thousand, I think it is, to get monetized. So, anyway, Mr. CLP is a legend. I started playing Farming Simulator during the pandemic because it was a free, what's it called? PlayStation Plus membership benefit, one of the monthly free game options. So I said, that's pretty cool. Why is, oh, my spader probably needs maintenance too. <laughs> Okay. So anyway, uh, I learned, you know, after stumbling through myself, but Mr. Sealy P's tutorials were a great help to me, and I later learned to enjoy his mod reviews and his map tours and everything that he does. Very enjoyable. So congratulations to Mr. Sealy P. 100,000 subscribers. So now I'm going to do kind of the wacky YouTube kind of thing. I want you to stop right now. Stop what you're doing. And I want you to go to Chainsaw 100. Chainsaw 100. All right. He's a YouTuber. FS22. Uh, great contact. Go to his page right now and subscribe. He is right around 95,000. Help him get to 100,000. Right now, stop what you're doing. Leave this page, open Chainsaw 100, and subscribe. Well, I hope after you did that, you came back. <laughs> So I often say at the end of my videos, uh, if you're not subscribed, why not? Don't cost nothing. I don't think it does cost anything. It doesn't take you anything to subscribe to somebody's YouTube channel other than it might affect your algorithm and you'll get recommended content similar to what they're uh, putting out. But I don't think you're going to get spammed with notifications unless you click that bell. Uh, so it doesn't take nothing. And when you subscribe to a YouTuber's channel, it helps them out. Especially if they don't have a thousand subscribers. So, me, for example, is shameless plug. I don't have a thousand subscribers. I'm not monetized. I don't make any money for doing this. Hey, help me stick it to the man. Stick it to big tech. And make YouTube share some of that ad revenue with me. Help me get to a thousand subscribers put these ads on here I don't get nothing for it you have to suffer through it and watch it and I don't get I don't get a thing for it so anyway so why not why don't you subscribe helps me out wow bumpy anyway off the soapbox we are looking for field 82, which I think is the last one over here. Is it this one? No. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, it wouldn't be one with a crop in it. It must be this one right here. So this is what we're going to find out. Looks like it had sugar beets in it. I have never used the spader, so I don't know. Do we need to unfold? Nope. We can turn it on. And we can drop it down 
and it's going to tell me I don't have access to the land. So it did exactly what I thought it would. <laughs> Which is annoying as hell, but I don't know why I knew that would happen. I knew it would. All right, I'm going to drive back. And put this away. We're gonna grab the slurry tank, we're gonna go do that contract. If we got time, maybe we'll buy a plow, we'll come over and plow this thing. Plowing, whoa. Plowing takes absolutely forever. Maybe we'll put a worker on it. And just leave so we don't have to watch it. I don't know, does that make any money? We'll see. Right back at the yard dropping the spader off let's go get the slurry spreader please this tractor's got good horsepower i like watching it go over the road too i don't know if i'll let it all that out the drive back or not probably just because i'll need to for time but it's completely empty it's interesting have we even used this yet I don't like that. But I guess, what are you going to do? Sixty-seven hundred liters is all. I, th I think. Didn't we use this? I have no idea. I don't remember. We're going to have a lot of back and forth, probably. This is a good sized field. It's not a very large slurry spreader. I didn't want to get a huge one because it just it wouldn't fit the map. I think I went. I think I got a good, um, a good choice here. Going right back out where we came from, aren't we? Sort of. Hmm, pollen. Seems to be pretty heavy. The hills on this map really tax the uh, machinery. Kind of, kind of interesting kind of uh, dilemma. You have all these small fields, but they're very steep, or the roads are very steep in places, which is why the truck was such a good solution for hauling your product to market because the trailers get really heavy and you got to climb some of these hills. So we're going to field 90. I don't know which one that is over here. It's one of these strips. One of these ones up here. I don't know which one you think it is. It'd be nice if it's this one with the lime on it. Oh, I guess I could mini-map. Uh, it's hard to tell. I think it's going to be the one that's got nothing in it. I think it's this one. Like you can tell from that. Let me check the map. Yeah, it's this one. I don't remember what the working width was on this. I think it was more than what I thought it was, but... 
might be like 10 meters let's zoom out a little bit let's get started I'm just going to hit the cruise control and got to unfold it first puts a splash blade on so I have used it before because I remember that now that I've done it oh that's not bad that's pretty nice working with really how quickly we're we going down probably going to take like four passes we're going to get all the way to the end of the field before we run out I don't know can't drive straight either I should pull up the mini map so, so I can try and get on a good azimuth I'm not over far enough I'd hate to get like done and have like that strip be what's keeping me from completing Come on. Go over there. I think I'll get to the end, but just barely. So looking at the width of the field, three, maybe four, yeah. And of course, if it's like just Come on. <laughs> Almost 30%. Oh, I can. Why was my um, cruise control set on 18? I don't know. I wonder if I could have gone quicker. More practice driving. I'll uh, I'll go get some more. I'll see you back here. All right, we're back at the field. I'm gonna run up this side now hopefully getting it all the way to the edge as efficiently as possible. I want to be as close to the edge as I can get without missing a bit. I think this is going to work good. So we're about 30% complete after running up one side. I don't, I don't know. I don't see that. We're going to have to, it's going to take four passes, I'm convinced. And we're not getting the edge. Oh, God. How much did I miss? It's, yeah, there's no way. Oh, maybe. If I could just get away with one more pass, that would be awesome, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> it's okay, I guess.
So I'll go get some more. See you back here in a minute. Okay, we're arriving back at the field. We got the third slurry tank full here. We're going to have to do four. I'm convinced of it. There's no way around it. It's free to us. So I guess it doesn't really matter that we got to do four. It'd be nice if we didn't have to, but I think we're going to need to, so. This actually helps us solve the problem of having too much slurry in our cow shed, so. And I talked to the farmer who owns field 82, where we were going to plow. I'm going to go ahead and fail that contract. Uh, my reputation is going to take a little bit of a hit, but I explained to him that uh, I took the contract with the understanding that I was going to help him achieve a plowed state on his field uh, because he is particular and uh, won't allow me to use a subsoiler or a spader which would do the same job he wants a traditional mold board type plow which i only have like a what like a little two shank plow it would take me forever to do it and i said well i took it with the understanding that i would be able to use my spader so if you don't want me to use my spader i i'm sorry but i can't can't do the job for you so that's where we are on that we're not going to go over there and uh, plow his field for him we've got our own work to do at our own farm I'm not going to buy a plow just so I can plow a contract field that's not going to even pay for the plow, I think, that I would be buying. Right? How much is that plow and used equipment? Let's take a look real quick. So it's 5,859 euros. He wants to pay me 1,100. Yeah. Not going to happen. Sorry. So that went away. Contract on field day two failed. Sorry, not gonna do it. Not gonna spend 5,000 euros to make a thousand. I think that's understandable, my stance on that. I can, I can understand his as well. I don't know what happens with the spader with regards to stones, but I do know that a uh, subsoiler will bring up larger stones than a plow will. Well, maybe that was his concern, the stones and stuff. I don't think there's any contracts for stone picking. So... Yeah. We'll just have to fail that one. That's just the way it goes. So this will be our fourth, and we probably won't even need to use all of it. So this will be a great help. Reducing the amount of... Uh, slurry that we've got we'll just be able to produce more make room for more 
And yeah, I'm sure that we're going to produce more slurry and manure than we can use on our small field. So yeah, using it on fertilizing contracts probably a good, good balance for us. Because our fields are so small, we really don't produce enough uh, crops to sell to really be profitable. Really, we're in the dairy business, so we're we're really producing what we need to run our dairy. We need to make straw. We need to make uh, hay. We need to make silage. So I wonder, do we put grass? Maybe we do. Maybe we put grass in that field. chatted a bit. I'll see you back there. We'll finish this. Okay, we're arriving at the contract field here. We'll make one final pass up the hill. Right here is where we need to go. And we'll have this thing completed. So yeah, we just center ourselves here. Hopefully uh, the little bits along the edges will be negligible enough, I think, that... But yeah, we could have been a little more uh, liberal overlapping the edge of the field because we, we've got so much overlap now that that was really kind of unnecessary when we were doing that at the edge. That's okay. It's just slurry. Cows will make more. 97%. So when we finish, we're just going to stop. We're done. We're going to keep that 38% for ourselves. I'm going to go up to the top of the field. We'll just drive out on the other road. The road that's kind of across the top here. Well, kind of the middle. There's fields on the right, but you can't access those. I love this map. It just looks so good. I really enjoy the, yeah, you know, the east. Whoa, that's <laughs> really bumpy. I really enjoy kind of running this map with the Eastern European type equipment. It just, I don't know, it's fun. It's fun. It's different. It's like how I enjoyed the uh, Brazilian series that I did in FS19. It's just you know different I haven't been over to Merrick's in a while I wonder how he's doing I think it's shorter if we go this way. So we'll collect on this and then we'll start doing some work on our own fields. We need to do some weeding. I check the horsepower requirements. Maybe we can use the uh, T30 to do the weeding.
Oh, it's a tight corner. Well, that's something new. We haven't done that much yet. We haven't used a uh, big blue that much either, so more practice driving that, all the back and forth on it was uh, valuable, at least to me, learn how to drive this tractor, drive an articulated tractor, which I'm not that used to. I think, I think we did pretty good, though. I'm not going to fill it again. I'm just going to park it here. I'm not sure what I'm going to need now. <laughs> Turned the wrong way. This would be a good place to tuck like a header trailer or something. Anyway, yeah, I think I'll, uh, oh, it's lunchtime already. How did that happen? Pop into the house, grab some lunch, I guess. Uh, probably still got time to do some more stuff, though, in this episode. We'll see. Let me get some food in me. Uh, I'll see you after I'm done. Have a lunch and we'll keep working. What do I got? What kind of heat? Let me check the fridge. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm finishing up my lunch here. Uh, we collected on that fertilizing contract. I'll throw that screen up here right now. And then uh, you'll see that the money has gone up and down a little bit. Uh, we had some work done outside down at the uh, bottom end of the field. So I don't often do this. I don't, I don't landscape much. I don't change things. I kind of leave it the way the map maker intended to a certain extent. But I said I was going to try and take away the bottom portion of this field a little bit and put in a path over to the field, and I did. And I also put in this chicken coop here so we can do chickens. Now, what I didn't do, and I'm probably going to come to regret it, is I didn't use the landscaping tool to, like, smooth the ground. So this is still, I think, considered a field. So I have to be really careful with, like, cultivators and the roller and stuff around it because it will... It will affect the ground because it's still considered part of the field. So I'm going to try and remember that, but I don't know if I will or not. I think I did a pretty good job kind of trying to blend it in. Um, I don't think you can... Do we have wheat? We have wheat, right? No, we did soybeans and cannot. We don't have any wheat, do we? Is there anything in here? What's in here? If I turn the field info on, I should, it should tell me, right? What's going on? It should, there we go. Okay, I do have wheat. Okay, that's good. So if I have wheat, that means I can take it out of there with the bucket. 
which is not necessarily the preferred method, but it'll work. Let's get rid of that field info for now. So I should be able to go underneath the pipe on the silo with the bucket and pick some out. I can get underneath it here. Oh. should work okay now not sure where you feed the chickens at though I think it's like right here there's a trough so that should be it right let's just carefully tip here so like an FS19 it used to used to have like a capacity and it was I think based on the amount of animal we had in it but I'm not 100% sure on that so we'll put a bucket full in back up over here we'll hop out <laughs> I can never remember which one opens what door I got the other one open too <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get some chickens in. We don't want babies. We want regular. So let's get one rooster. And let's get 19 started pullets. Might have been easier to go from the other way. 19, 19. Actually, let's get 15. Oh, wow. Started pulling for 50 bucks. That's so. Uh, look at that. We got chickens. That's awesome. I like it. All right. So we got chickens now. Oh, I guess I can go in the animal menu and figure out how we're doing on feed then, right? Looks like it'll hold about... That's interesting. 700. Oh, yeah, this, this bucket holds about 7, 719, 720. That's actually real good. So one bucket will fill that pretty much. drill do we have? I don't know if this is a direct drill or not. I'm afraid. I'll have to check that out. Okay, so the weeder. we got to get that weeded today. Otherwise the weeds are going to show up as mediums. So what? What's the horsepower requirement for this thing? So here it is, 40. So that's more than the T30 has. So we're gonna have to use the the uh, Z-Tor Turbo.
definitely need to get that weeding done. And then I think the next thing would be to maybe get grass in this, uh, this other field. like that. Oh, I'm not lined up good well at all. Okay. Back here, back, 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 back. There we go. Bounce over that tire. Well, oh, get myself stuck. I get stuck. There we go. We'll see a change in ground state with this running over it with it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll be able to see where we've been. I think you gotta turn it on, yeah. And then it's gonna oh, it's gonna give us a little darker so we can tell that it's been fertilized. So we should be able to see where we've been. That's what we wanna do. to take away field space to put in like that chicken coop but really we make so little money off of these fields <laughs> that I don't think it's going to matter that much. Matter of fact the chickens will probably bring in more money than the field does. Of course 40 chickens don't produce eggs that quickly usually. I mean, that's what I had on the Ohio farm for the longest time and I mean what I get a crate of eggs like once a year or something like that but I think it adds to the farm you know sort of like the greenhouse the greenhouse is so slow producing anything that it's hardly worth the effort but It just adds more, gives you more to do, the farm looks more alive. If I could put grass in that little area next to it too, but... Well, the more grass we have to mow, yeah, the better off we'll be. You know what we haven't done in this episode yet? We haven't done a time lapse. Should we do a time lapse of the uh, weeding? Probably should. If I did herbicide, this would be a lot quicker. <laughs>
All right, I think I'm finishing up the weaving here. I got this uh, one strip in the middle. I think I picked up a little quick down at the bottom there. I'm going to go back down, make sure I get that spot. But that's that done pretty quick. So we're going to need to cultivate that field over there. We're going to need to... Uh, are our cultivator going to bring up stones? we we'll probably have to stone pick it. Um... Ideally, if we could get all that done today, since tomorrow's a new month, you'd see the growth already in there. I gotta watch out for these tires, huh? Awful close. Turn that off. Tight little yard here in Poland. Yep. All right, weeding's done. I guess that's the question, you know, can we do... Can we do the other work off camera? Or am I kind of... I don't know. Short changing you. I need to do some work on this tractor. It's, uh, I don't know if it's a affecting the performance at all, but it is kind of you know, a little sluggish. Four hundred sixty euros. Chickens. <laughs> Not like there's a lot of space here. <laughs> there's more than there was before, I guess. I got some seed I could put grass. I think so. Oh, yeah, there's plenty. Should be all right. I don't know. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm pretty sure I'm out of time for this episode. I might do that work off camera, and when we come back uh, in October, that'll be done already. I I know I don't want to shortchange you, but hey, we, got, we got stuff we got to get done. Keep moving forward. Uh, you've seen me do kind of those jobs before, so hopefully it's okay. Uh, I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the old Polish farm here in Colonia. I know your time is valuable to you, and I appreciate you chose to spend a little of it here with me. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, seriously, don't cost nothing. And who knows? If I get a thousand... I'd be monetized. I hope you come back. We'll see you next time.